Hey guys, hope all of you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you saw the previous video where I explained you some basic manipulation in pandas. We'll continue from where we left off in the previous video. So the last thing we saw was how do we filter for rows of data based on a specific condition, right? So what we did is we wanted to only show rows which had the category value as pans by running this query, we could actually get that, right? So you see when we run this, we get only the data with all the rows where category spans. The rest of them are filtered out. The next obvious question that some of you might have is, can we do multiple conditions, right? When applying a filter, definitely yes, we can do that. Say you want to filter for clicks less than 15,000 and at the same time category as spans. Can we do that together? Yes, definitely. How would we do that? So you give it a new name, let's say data clicks below 15,000, okay? And category pans, right? You can give it whatever name you want basically. You put is equal to, then you say data, open the square brackets. First condition, we wanna say clicks below 15,000. So you would put them in like normal brackets. So you say data of clicks, like basically the name of that column actually the column name is click so just be careful uh, date of click and within bracket we want it less than 15,000 okay and outside this small bracket you put an ampersand right to separate the conditions we put an ampersand then open the brackets again and here we could say date of category is equal to, remember to put the double is equal to pants. So when I run this, okay, so we have assigned that already. So let me just copy this and paste it down and run it. Now we see we get data and we get only one row of data. So this basically means there's only one row where the category is pants and at the same time clicks is less than 15,000, right? If we go up, we could also quickly verify as you see, yeah, most of the other rows in pants, they have clicks more than 15,000, right? That's just this row, which is getting captured when we do the double condition, right? Click should be less than 15,000 and also category should be equal to pants. This is how you can do multiple filter. So next step, you might be wondering, can we do group by similar to SQL, right? Can we do aggregation, right? So say I wanted to group at a date level, then at a category level, and I wanted to see the total sum of clicks, right? So for each day, for each category, I want to see the sum of clicks. And say I wanted to see the average of the cost. Can we do that here? Yes, definitely we can do that. How do we go about doing the group by? So let me give it a new name. I would say aggregated data is equal to, so let's say data dot group by of So first of all, we'll put what do we want to group by. So say we want to do group by date and category. So I would put them separated by commas within square bracket, right? So first of all, you put on what specific columns you want to do the group by. And after that, just type a dot and say aggregate. So you want to aggregate. As I told you, I want to aggregate clicks. I want to do a sum of clicks. And I also want to do a cost, but average of cost, right? How would we do that here? So you, after the aggregate, open two brackets. Now you can insert two flower brackets like this. And inside this, first I want to do for click. So I would type click, give some space, put a colon, and I want to do the sum of clicks. So you can just type sum, then separate it by a comma. Second thing I want to see is cost. So I would type that here, cost. And same way, put a colon leave a space and I want to see the average. For average in Python, we can use the mean. And yeah, and I will just copy this down here. So when we run this, so we do a group by on what column you want to do the group by. I want to do it on date and category. 
then put a dot aggregate agg then open normal brackets then open a flower bracket as you see and whichever columns you want to do the aggregation right here i wanted to do aggregation for click and i wanted to do the sum of click so i'm mentioning that then put a comma and i want to see average of cost so i put the cost column and then for average we mention it as mean here so once we do this it should run so when i run this you will see basically so yeah for each date for each category we get the sum of the clicks and you see this value seems little less because it's the mean or the average of the cost so same thing happens for each day the categories get separated say you wanted to see this categories not like this but more like you know side by side right we could do that so let me go back here i'll copy the same code again and i'll teach you what is unstacking okay so we run that right that usual query but i want to see the category side by side i could say unstack of category column okay so when i do that and when i run this you'll see this is how it comes right so it's a little more cumbersome but because we have a lot of category but basically what you see for 24th august 2020 for arm band sum of clicks is this for bell sum of clicks is this and so on so till tie we have the value right so this is the click value right these first 10 columns then from here again arm band starts so these are the cost values if i scroll down a little bit and just move this to the right so you'll see a little more maybe so basically for cost again arm band is 278.36 for that first day average cost is bell is 500.71 and so on so by doing the unstacking we are able to basically show it side by side if you don't do the unstack you will get the value like this right so basically like this so it's up to you what is more convenient to you right depending on the situation that's how you can do unstacking okay next step suppose i wanted to rename some column right say in this particular data going back to you here say i want to rename conversions as orders can we do that yes we can do that in python how do we de rename that so we could use like a mapping to actually do the renaming so say i declare a mapping and i put it into something called as dictionary so what is a dictionary is basically yeah so inside flower bracket i you know there is a paired value okay that is what is a dictionary so for conversions right conversions is what i want to map to and change the name so i would type conversions leave a space double quotes uh, i mean colon basically uh, and then you would type the new name i want to replace rename it as orders okay this is the first step then second step what you can do is so the existing data frame data you could say data dot rename so we want to rename the column and in brackets you would say columns right we want to rename the columns and we would say is equal to mapping by doing this what happens is so data column will refer to this mapping and you know here we are trying to say conversions actually maps to orders so the name of the column conversions will automatically get changed to orders right so when i run this you will see it okay so it's been renamed now if i run data now you see instead of conversions we get orders because this mapping has been applied this is how you can do a renaming okay i hope you enjoyed the video and understood these concepts in pandas stay tuned for the third part of this pandas video where i will cover functions like sort merge and lock till then take care if you like the video do subscribe to the channel bye